In this video, we'll show you how to develop real-time human interaction effects in Unreal Engine 5 using the Motion Design plugin. You can download both the start and finished projects from the video description. Let's open the start project. We've copied over the dollars mocap files, and we have made a character blueprint for motion design. If you're developing in another project, remember to activate both OSC and motion design plugins. First, in the content browser settings, make sure both show engine content and show plugin content are enabled. Then select all and type 3D in the search box to find the 3D motion graphics map, which is a built-in example map from Unreal. Drag this map into your project's content directory and choose to copy it. Then rename it and open it. After opening, we're in the motion design view. Let's switch to the default view for easier operation. In the scene outliner, and let's delete the two existing effectors. Then we'll modify the cube sizes to better suit our project. Next, we'll adjust the cloner settings. Select the cloner and first delete the animator component. Reset the rotation to zero. Then modify the count and space. Finally, adjust the position so it's close to the ground. Now switch to motion design mode. In the Actors tab, select Effector Actor and add it to the scene. Change the effector's shape to box. Modify the outer extent. Change scale to 0.2, so objects affected by the effector will shrink. Then reset its position and rotation to 0. Finally, add this effector to the cloner. When you drag the effector, you can see it's now affecting the cubes in the scene. Next, drag the blueprint ending with underscore MD from the dollars mocap directory into the scene. Let's check this blueprint. Select the meshes in the blueprint, and make them visible. You can see we've attached some cubes to the mannequin to roughly frame the human shape. We've also set up some actor variables to receive effectors from the scene. In the Blueprint's tick event, we set these effectors' transforms to match their corresponding cubes, enabling the effectors to follow body movements. Set the mannequin's position to match the cloners, making it align with the red and blue cubes, and adjust its orientation. Then set the scene's effector in the Blueprint. Back in the Blueprint, hide the meshes. We also need to add the receiver from the dollars mocap directory to the scene and set it in the blueprint. Run the project, and you'll see the left forearm is now working. Next, we need to generate the remaining effectors. Select the effector in the scene and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. We need 11 in total. After duplication, select the cloner, and you'll see they've been automatically added. Then select our character and add these effectors one by one to the blueprint. Run the project to see the final effect. Finally, two important notes. When the Unreal Engine window is active, it might use too many resources causing the mocap program to drop frames. 
simply click on the mocap program window to refocus it. Secondly, when opening the project, you might find the selected items in the cloner's effector settings are missing. In this case, you can reselect all effectors. Looking forward to seeing your creative work.